so we oh i'm walking through mud so we're at a disc golf course in st joe missouri and trying to see if we're too late or if the bees are still here it's been about two hours since somebody came through here and they told us there was a swarm of bees i think we're already past where they might be yeah, I don't think it's down here. All right, let's try to check the other side again. After a few minutes, I had already given up, but Uriah found some bees on the ground. Dad, look over here. Got a small group right down here. Not sure if there's a queen in there, but we can pick up this group at least and try to take them home, see if we can merge them in with some other bees if we can't find the queen. So we had some friends post about a bee swarm and that they were hanging off of this wood right here, and now they're not here, so I don't know if somebody had already come to pick them up but we've got a group of bees here on the ground and, or maybe they, somebody came through here and mowed it looks kind of freshly trimmed so I don't know if it messed them up or what this bundle of bees is here on the ground we'll lift them up and we'll put them in here and we'll see what we have so we got this group of bees here I haven't seen a queen yet put them into here that are flying around maybe 20 or 30 here in the air. Just a few flying around, so I don't think we have much here. If we don't have the queen, then we're just gonna have a handful of bees, but we tried. I waited for a few more minutes to capture the rest of the bees. If there is a queen in our box, then they'll fall over it. Well, I think we are second to these bees, but we'll take what we've got here. We'll take them home, at least get them home with some of the other bees. So the beehives are all hopping today out here. Got a handful of bees in this nuke box, so I just need to add them in with one of them, just so they have a new home, since they didn't get to go home with the other bees. I hear them buzzing in there. There's a decent sized group inside here, but they got no queen. Double check there's no queen here. We do have a little queen here. We need another hive. We got a queen in there. Now with the presence of a queen, we need to build up this hive. I need to give them a frame from some of our other Langstroth hives. One from our green hive, one from our orange hive. We checked the Lego hive, but they were a little too crazy, so we left them alone. All right, so we found a queen in this box. We were checking through here before I Merge them in with one of the other hives. She is right here. She's not marked because she's a wild queen. And so I can go get my queen marking kit. It's a real small hive, like a couple hundred bees. So I'll go get a hive from inside our house and we'll get these guys moved into something more permanent than this. You ride, good job, buddy. You found them. All right, so I just did an awesome paint job if I do say so myself, on a new Langstroth hive because we are, we're out of colors. We've done the rainbow, Roy G. Biv. And so to fit this box in, I can reuse the colors and now use stripes. So there's our lid. No stripes yet. Check out this part. There's our bottom board. So right now this just looks red and blue. Let's see if my lines came out all right. Oh, that's looking fun. I like that. Now let's see what it looks like out by the bees. All right, so this, this hive is not a whole lot of activity. A few bees coming in and out here. It's really small numbers. And while we're on the topic of swarms, we need to talk about what happened. So over here at this orange hive, for example, bees will grow to a certain size and they will fill up all of their space. Now here, this is an environment that I can control and I can add more space. And so they'll keep growing and they won't split on their own. But out in nature or if they go ignored, they'll split on their own. And so what happens when they split, the queen and the hive will lay other queen cells to create new queens. And then she will take half or a little more of the hive and then they will move. They will move to a new space to try to find a new hive. And then the bees inside will help a new queen hatch out. She'll fly off and then she will get bred. She will come back, start to lay eggs and then the hive will go on. And what it's troubling about this instance is that these bees were a very small bunch. Now they might have had some out exploring looking for other hives, but that was such a small handful of bees. It was only like 50 or 100 bees. And so such a small group of them, 
I don't know how they're gonna survive. I don't know why they were so small. The only thing I can think of is that they were hanging in a, a, a small bundle, but then they were down on the ground and it looked like a, a trimmer may have come through there. It was a city park, took out some, or they started flying around. And so I got as many as I could. And so now I've, I've got to put the new hive out here. We'll give them frames to keep going. They can hatch out brood from some of these other hives that we've taken frames from. I might go get them one more from one of our flow hives to give them one or two more frames to work off of. But it's such a small amount, I just hope they can make it. I hope they can make it. I'm having a hard time finding the queen. I hope she didn't die or take off. Well, I'm bummed. I have not been able to find the queen. I looked through everywhere in there. Even checked any of the dead bees to try to see if I can, I just can't find where she's at. So I'm gonna go get a couple frames of some developed brood from the flow hives. I'm gonna switch out a couple frames to hopefully give them a little bit of chance to grow some more bees and maybe develop a queen, I'm not sure. And then I'll come back and I'll do a double check and see if I miss the queen. All right, I took a frame from each of those hives. They're not happy with me and I wouldn't be either if it would take my work away, but we're trying everything we can to help this hive survive. If they don't, then all the other hives are just gonna rob the, the resources, the brood and the honey. All right, I'm gonna try adding these frames in and do one more check, just see if we can't find a queen. They're already trying to bundle up here in the corner again. Tells me they have no idea what they're doing. They might be queenless again. Giving them lots of brood and honey here. Please, please, please survive. Sure don't see a queen right now. So they're balling up in the corner. They keep getting together in piles and tells me they don't have a queen or maybe she flew off to, I just can't imagine that it was a virgin queen that that flew off to get bred, but my only hope is that they grow one. I can try to track down a queen, but I feel like something's going on here because I can't find any evidence of a queen. I feel like maybe she flew off, but I'm gonna check back in a day or two and see if I can find her. Or maybe I just missed her. I don't know what's going on here. So it's been two weeks and they've already almost filled up their their brood boxes. I could add another brood box on top. I have one available that's a, a flow hive box. I need to add some other space because I just checked in these boxes and they're starting to build up above them because they are, they're running out of room. So the nice thing is I'll just put this on top and they'll start putting honey inside of it. And because of the queen excluder that keeps her down in the bottom, so all brood is in the bottom, so only honey is in the top and makes it easy for us to harvest. Let's get our super on. There they are, after a couple weeks, ready to fill up our supers. So it's been about a week and a half since we cut our swarm and, and queen at the time. I'm, it sounds like it's buzzing inside of here. So let's see if we have anything, if we found a queen, if one came back, if they grew one. Let's try to see what's going on here. Now this is way more bees than we caught. I only brought in like 50 to 100 bees and there's there's easily a few thousand here. I don't know if it's, if somebody's taken over this hive. Yeah, we're looking for a queen. So I've gone through two frames so far. There's a lot of bees, but I still don't see a queen. Okay, if there's a frame that has a queen, it's this one. There's a lot of bees on here. So I still don't see a queen in here. There are so many bees. There are bees down here too. There's a lot of bees coming in and out. But I don't see honey and there's no more brood. So either they're they're eating all the honey, I just feel like they're getting maybe ravaged by the other hives. I, so I don't know if giving them more frames of honey and brood would help. If they're not gonna produce a queen, I, I don't know what they're gonna do, but I'm tempted to give them one more frame, see if it'll help produce something. Let's see if we can find a good frame in one of the other hives. So we're over here at the orange hive. Let's see what we have. All right, so we got this frame from the green hive. It's got some brood on it. It's got some, some honey here in the corner. So it's got some growth down here. So I think it's got a lot of interesting things in here that I hope this hive can put some use that to. That queen cell there or this queen cell here, maybe they can, they can grow that out into a queen. So I'm hopeful they can make use of this. I think they'll be able to produce a few more thousand bees. Just 
just hope they can find a way to get a queen. They can either grow one or the other one can come back. I'm not sure what happened to the one, but I'm hoping they they figure it out and produce one and this, uh, this hive can thrive. Mead. Mmm, you gonna try it? It's good. It's good. <laughs> They're good peas. So we're about a month later and I see some bees coming out here, which is good. So we've kept this hive alive, but I don't know if there's any queen in here to keep this hive going further. Let's see what we have going on here. There are a lot of bees. I like seeing that. Very calm hive, see if any queen has been created yet. So we have a couple queen cells. One is right here that's been opened up. I don't know if that's from the previous hive I brought this over from, and there's two over here that are open. One's right here, one's right here. So I'm hopeful that one's been created. Another thing I can look for are eggs down in those cells, and I don't see any eggs yet. There she is. We've got a queen. We've got a queen in here. They've done it. They've created a queen. Queen's running right across there. Going right across the hive. Right across there. They did it. They did it. So I was chasing this queen around with the, uh, the queen marking kit right here. And so I've got her trapped right against the wall. She did hop off the frame and then just went right on the outside of the box. And so I've got her right here. That is so cool. Go. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got our queen in here. You guys, I am so excited. We caught the smallest hive, about a handful of bees, maybe 50 bees left. Brought them home, no queen, or maybe there was a queen temporarily. I saw a queen that day, and then when I came back that night to put them in the box, I did not see the queen. We've put five frames in here along with just three blanks. Keep them hatching out new bees and to give them honey to survive. And somewhere over the past month, they hatched out their own queen. So we've got our queen right here. I can move her right up against the top. We've got our yellow marker ready. All right, we've got her held across here. That's perfect. I've got my yellow dot on her. We'll let that dry for a second. I'm gonna take her back down in there. All right, so I'm gonna let her out onto this frame. Okay, here she goes. Bees are checking her out again, that's good. She may have just hatched out, you guys, I don't know. I've, I've got some, some queen cells in here that are pretty newly open. So she may be just a brand new queen here. So I'm wanting to watch this here and then see if she comes out of this, if she survives. I don't see anyone trying to sting her, so I'm not trying to kill her. And there she goes. I knew this would happen, but this is the first time that I've gotten to see it happen, that I, I took bees that were without a queen, gave them brood, and they were able to produce a new queen. And it, it takes some time. It's now a month later, and I think she's a brand new queen for them. But I am, I am just so excited and relieved that this worked. I can't believe it. <laughs>